Hello and welcome back to PHP Basics. My name is Sean and today I want to show you how to remove the PHP extension from your web page. Here's what I mean. So here's just an index page and we can see up here I've got index.php. I've also got some navigational links here as well. I've got about.php, bio, and contact.php. And of course, whenever I click these, it's going to follow a hyperlink and take us to the about.php page. Um, however, ideally, uh, especially in modern web development, you don't want to show the extension of your files. You want to see something that looks kind of like this, test slash about or test slash contact without the PHP. So obviously, the way that this looks, it looks like contact would be its own web directory, and then there would be an index file inside of that, which would display the content on the page. And that's just not how it actually works. Uh, if we look at the folder structure, uh, I've got about.php, bio, contact, and then my index.php. I don't have additional directories, okay? So how do we do this? Well, it's done with an HT access file, as you might have guessed. And today I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm inside of Notepad++. And most of the time, whenever it comes to regular expressions and writing HT access files, it can be very complex to the point where you don't understand it. You just want to know what makes your stuff do the what it does and move on with your day. Uh, so this is going to be kind of a mixed lesson. First, I'm going to show you what the script is, and then I'm going to try to explain it in a user-friendly format. Inside of a blank Notepad++ or Notepad file, we're going to turn Rewrite Engine on. This simply allows us to write to Apache's engine and override the configuration. This rewrite cond is allowing us to specify a certain condition that must be valid before it processes the next line. Uh, so in this case, the percent request file name is a variable set by the server to contain the request URL. This is simply the about or the index or the contact page. This dash F tells us that it's a real valid file, which currently, if our link just says about, then that's not a real file. So we specify with an exclamation mark, this is not a valid file. The rewrite rule is where we use regular expressions. Regular expressions start with a caret and they end with a dollar sign. Inside of the bracket, we have a set of parameters here that define our regular expression. That is the first expression or the first rule within this expression. If we had multiple rules, then this would be expression one, then we'd have expression two, expression three, and that's what this dollar sign here is representing is we're using expression one. We're starting with a caret, which means that we're basically not applying to this rule to anything before the period. And if you want to use a period in regular expressions, you have to escape it with a backslash. The plus sign simply means that it's going to apply that rule to everything forward. And then, like I said, anything forward is going to be dot PHP or it could be dot HTML. And then this just tells us that this is the last flag telling the rewrite engine not to process any more rules after there's a match to, to the first argument. OK, so that's really it. All we have to do now is hit save, and we're going to save this as .htaccess, and that's it. So now, whenever I click about, it's taking me to my about page. Or if I click bio, it takes me to my bio page. Now, of course, these other links still work if you put them, but let's take a look real quick at how I'm setting up those links. So these are the top three links, about.php, bio.php, and contact.php. If I want to reference the page without the extension, well, all I have to do now is just put it the way that I want. Now, the file name does have to match, but it's not case sensitive and it does not require the .php. That's what this is doing. It's appending .php to the end of it. Well, it's not appending to it. It's just assuming that that's what it is. So that's really an introduction to how this works. It's very simple, a very simple three line script that makes your website look a lot more professional. This wraps up this video, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.